He was a, a fascinating person to know. I met him first in 1953 at the World Science Fiction Convention in Philadelphia. I was surprised in his autobiography. He remembered meeting me, uh, which was, he was, uh, he was by that time, uh, uh, even then, an uh, uh, iconic figure in the field, a uh, man of, uh, of fascinating, uh, 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 memorable memory capacities. He could re had a, maybe a remarkable memory for everything. I asked him once when I wrote a book about his work called uh, Isaac Asimov, The Foundations of Science Fiction, uh, if he understood how other people might feel who didn't have his memory. And he said, you know, once I was at a, uh, a, a meeting, a, a convention in New Jersey, and I was reciting the lines of the star second chap uh, uh, section of, of the Star Spangled Banner, and for a moment I couldn't remember how it went. And then I remembered, <laughs> and I thought it would be marvelous to have that kind of a, a experience where that happened only once rather than so often. <laughs> but uh, it wasn't my idea really to ask uh, Isaac for a introduction that came out of the uh, uh, out of the Englewood Cliffs Prentice Hall editorial piece who turned to him for the introduction and uh, but my uh, connect my relations with Isaac were always very uh, very friendly and uh, he corresponded with me uh, occasionally though he'd send a, uh, me postcard replies sometimes as a, and uh, I finally told him I really felt uh, embarrassed to use up his time with this this correspondence, and <laughs> and because uh, he was so so dedicated to work, but he did uh, uh, also do a film for my literature science fiction film series with me, and which he was talking about. Uh, uh, science fiction since uh, uh, more recent times when he uh, and when we offered to pay him he said I didn't know I was going to get paid for this it wasn't much a token not really but uh, he was doing it as a labor of love sort of but he was a you know like like me I think he f felt a great deal of uh, fondness for the genre that he was uh, involved in, and uh, would do almost anything to to further it, uh, except for traveling. He didn't like to travel, and uh, after one experience of traveling on an airplane when he was in the in World War II Army service, he was went over to Hawaii for some uh, atomic tests. He never flew again, <laughs> is that right? which is very strange, of course, for a somebody who wrote about uh, interstellar travel. <laughs> <laughs>